Hi class! Welcome back to our channel. For today's video, uh, i-discuss natin yung rational functions, equations, and inequalities. Okay, so first, define muna natin ano bang ibig sabihin ng isang uh, rational function. So by definition, a rational function r of x is a function of the form r of x is equals to p of x over q of x. Okay, where p of x and q of x are polynomial functions and q of x is not equals to 0. Okay, so dito guys, um, makikita nyo na rational function yung, ang isang expression. Una, pag meron tayong fraction or, dinam, or division. Okay, then bukod dun guys, uh, make sure na yung ating denominator is hindi equals to 0. Bakit? Kasi kung magiging 0 yung ating denominator, ibig sabihin, magkakaroon tayo ng undefined. Okay, so let's have an example of a rational function. So number 1, meron tayo ditong um, r of x is equals to x cubed minus 1 over x plus 1 where x is not equals to 1. So as you can see, the numerator and denominators are both polynomials. Tama? Then, meron tayong quotient or division or naka-fraction. Ibig sabihin, yung given function natin is an example of rational function. Okay, meron tayong restriction. Sabi dito, x should not be equals to negative 1. Bakit kaya bawal maging negative 1 yung x? Kasi guys, kung magiging negative 1 yung value ng ating x, Yung denominator natin, magkakaroon ng negative 1 plus 1. Tama? Which is equals to 0. Then, kung maging 0 yung ating denominator, that means na yung ating rational function is magiging undefined. Okay? So, number 2. Dito naman, guys, uh, 1, or yung the numerator and the denominator are both polynomials. Okay, 1 is considered a polynomial. So, therefore, since nakasulat yung ating uh, function as a quotient, ibig sabihin, uh, this function is an example of a rational function. Okay, where x is not equals to 0, again, kung magiging 0 yung value ng ating x, magkakaroon tayo ng 0 denominator, resulting to undefined. Okay? So, I think 19 din yun na guys kung ano bang ibig sabihin ng isang rational function. So, let's have another examples. So, dito naman guys, uh, we are asked to consider the following algebraic expressions. Then, determine whether they are rational or not. Okay, then state the reason. So, try natin. Number 1, yung numerator natin is a polynomial. Denominator is also a polynomial. So, that means, uh, yung number 1 natin is, an, is a rational expression. Tama? Okay. So, dito, yung P of X natin is equals to 3X square minus 5X plus 2. Yun yung ating numerator. Then, ang Q of X natin, yung denominator, which is X plus 1. Okay, so number 2, yung numerator natin is also a polynomial, yan yung ating P of X which is equals to 2. Then, yung denominator natin is, is also a polynomial, ito yung ating Q of X which is equals to X minus 5. So therefore, number 2 is an example of a rational expression. Tama? Next, number 3. So, dito guys, uh, makikita nyo kagad na yung ating numerator is not a polynomial. Kasi under siya ng square root. Okay? So, obviously, number 3 is not a rational expression. Okay? So, again, yung ating numerator is not a polynomial. Number 4. So, dito guys, number 4 is, as you can see, wala tayong nakikitang... Uh, denominator. Okay? Pero guys, uh, alam naman natin kapag uh, 
invisible ang ating denominator. Under, understood yan guys na mayroong over 1. Tama? So, kung saan, ma-identify natin si P of X, yung ating numerator, which is equals to X plus 5, and that is a polynomial. Then, yung ating Q of X is equals to positive 1, which is also a polynomial. So, therefore, yung number 4 natin is an example of a rational expression. Okay? So, let's have another, or define mo natin yung tatlong uh, main topic natin, guys. Si rational equation, rational inequality, and rational function. Okay? So, by definition, a uh, rational equation is an equation involving rational expression. Okay? Ang example natin dito, yung x plus 4 over x minus 1. So, kung makapansin nyo, that is a rational expression. Tama? Then, since gumamit tayo ng equal symbol, ibig sabihin na naka-equation yung ating um, example. Tama? So, therefore, uh, this equation is an example of a rational equation. Okay? Next, rational inequality is an inequality involving rational expressions. Okay? So, as you can see in our example, yung left side na expression natin is an example of rational expression. Okay? Then, gumamit tayo dito ng greater than. That means, naka-inequality tayo. Okay? So, therefore, this, ex this example is an example of a rational inequality. Okay, last, meron tayong rational function. Ito yung dinefine natin kanina. It is a function of the form f of x is equals to p of x over q of x. Okay? So, dito guys, um, naka-function yung ating uh, rational expression. Diba? Meron tayong f of x sa left side. So, that means uh, this, this example is an example of a rational function. Okay? So, let's have an examples. So, determine whether the given is a rational function, rational equation, and rational inequality, or none of this. Okay? So, yung number 1 natin, we have 1 plus x over x minus 2 equals 4. So, dito guys, meron tayong rational expression. Yung nasa left side ng ating equation. Then, at the same time, gumamit tayo ng equals. Okay, may equal sign tayo. So, therefore, yung number 1 natin is a rational equation. Tama? Next, number 2, we have 5x is greater than or equals to 2 over 2x minus 1. So, dito naman, yung ating right side, meron tayong quotient. Okay? And that is an example of a rational expression. At the same time, gumamit tayo ng greater than or equal, which, which means naka-inequality tayo. Tama? So, yung number 2 natin is an example of a rational inequality. Okay? Number 3. Uh, meron tayong rational expression. At the same time, naka-function form tayo, f of x. So, therefore, number 3 is an example of a rational function. Tama? Next, number 4. Okay, number 4, we have x plus 2 over x minus 2 equals y plus 3. Yung number 3 and number 4 is almost the same. Okay, yun nga lang, yung plus 3 natin is nasa right side, nandun kay y. Okay, na alam naman natin, y is also the same as or equals to f of x. Okay, tama? So, ibig sabihin, pwede naman nating ilipat si positive 3 dun sa left side ng ating equation. Then, magkakaroon na tayo ngayon ng y equals x plus 2 over x minus 2. Then, minus 3. 
So that means meron tayong rational function. Okay? Then number 5. So dito makikita natin na meron tayong radicals. Ibig sabihin hindi siya polynomial. Okay? So that means yung number 5 natin is hindi siya rational function or rational equation or rational inequality. So ang sagot natin dito is none of this. Okay? So naiintindihan ba guys? Okay, so this is the end of our video. If you have uh, questions or clarifications regarding them sa ating video, kindly put them in the comment section below. Okay? So, thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!